Hello, everybody. And in this lecture, we are going to be going over um, the different modes that are in the claviatura here. You'll have the channel view or the velocity view of how the notes go down every time you play them, right? And then you'll have the keyboard view, which can be edited at any time. And you can actually edit how wide again the keyboard is in preferences under the Claviatura menu. Uh, keys. You can say key width. I'm going to bring it to about here, which is about 14. Key height. Uh, you don't need the key to be too terrible high right there. And key range. Set the key range. And let's turn the key board theme back to a light theme. That way we can see more of the keyboard like an actual one. So let's go ahead. We have two main windows. We have this one. We have that one. And we have this one, which is up here, the channel window, this window. So th these windows both serve a purpose. The piano window serves a purpose for when you're doing like a piano tutorial type thing. Um, the channel just monitors where the notes are coming in, uh, what count they're coming in, if you're recording it, and how it's being played back. It also notates the velocity or how hard you, the notes are being struck on the keyboard itself. But if you click back here, you'll see that your key can come back up like this. You could show people how you're playing different notes and, and things like that. And that's more where piano teachers, are, this will come in handy. Uh, piano players that are doing tutorial videos on how to play a certain song, uh, that will come, the keyboard will come into view for this. But the channel window comes into view if you're playing back MIDI into here and you're trying to play along with it. That's another feature that this uh, supports. So those are the two main views. You can always go to different channels. Or you can always you could always have it just be one channel and that's it. And the different channels could sometimes have different colors as well. So keep that in mind as we go through all this. Okay. So we have the keyboard window, and we have the channel or the velocity window, as I like to call it. Those are your two main windows that will be used when you use the keyboard. And over here, one more thing we we have to see is look at the right hand side of the channel window. You will see zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 14. Okay, 
you will see these are the number of octaves that these support that the claviator supports so it's a little bit more than the average piano but still it will give you ample octaves to play with okay so if you guys have any questions on this video please feel free to drop those questions in the q a and i will see you in the next video